to see the lease destruction proposal taken up first so that we, so that we pass something minimalist and can then move on and consider whether we want to go further rather than going to a far more complex and potentially chaotic proposal and taking that up first. Is there a speech against Mr. Desjardins as the... Uh, my name is Stephen Desjardins. I'm one of the makers of the four and six motion. And I feel that it is impossible to sensibly consider four and six until we know whether or not EPH is in effect. Because the effect of going from five and five to four and six depends dramatically on whether EPH is in effect. And whether it's a good idea or not depends on whether EPH is in effect. And as a matter of fact, if EPH passes, I intend to move an amendment to change it to five and six, because I think if EPH passes, that will work better. So I think the order we consider these amendments in is very important, and it is very important to consider four and six second. Is there another speech in favor of the motion? Uh, hello, I'm Jason Spitzer. Um, so I want to sort of second what the first speaker said. Um, I think four and six is not only least destructive, while the order of motions is important, I know that many of us have considered, at least I think many of us have considered, I've talked to a few people, that some of the proposed amendments are much, much more difficult to implement. And out of what is obviously a consideration for everyone's time, because I know the way the time votes have come out with the debate times today so far, <coughs> Sorry, I, uh, I think it'd be a waste of our time to sit there and consider some of the more complicated amendments when we could pass four and six or not, and then go from there, as the, I think as the chair said. Is there, uh, are you finished? Yes. Ah. So, Mr. Cronengold. Um, the people seeking recognition should stand. Raising your hand is not adequate unless you're disabled. Um, I believe it would do a disfavor to both 4 and 6 and E Pluribus Hugo to reverse the order uh, because people who support E Pluribus Hugo are likely uh, to oppose E 4 and 6 if it, is, um, if it happens before E Pluribus Hugo, in addition to requiring substantive changes as, as, uh, um, as the previous speaker um, suggested. Is there anyone else in favor of the motion? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting confused here. Is there any time left against? Yes. All right. Is, is there any? Okay. Is there anyone else looking to speak against the motion? Against? Yeah, there was no one looking to speak in favor of it. So, unless we're ready to call for the. Well. Is there any objection to calling the question? All right. So the motion is to postpone uh, E Plur Miss Hugo definitely until after debate on four and six. I think we're going to do this by raise of hands. All those in favor, please raise your hands. Okay, hands down. All those opposed? I'm going to say the no's have it. They stay in that order. Um, and those speakers who have come up, could you please um, make sure to give the secretary your badge and or your name orally so that she can put it in the minutes? A7, EPH. Um, I suggested 20 minutes. Is there any objection? All right. Are there any other suggested times? <laughs> All right. So I have anything other than 20 and 30? 10, 16, and 2. <laughs> Mr. Quinn. Um, Jameson Quinn, parliamentary question. Um, is, there, is there any debate in order on this, uh, like, about this? No. Okay. Not today. Just about the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So we're going to start with 30. 
and then work our way down. All those in favor of 30 minutes debate time, please raise your hands. Okay, hands down. All those opposed? I'm gonna say the no's have it. 20? 20. 20 minutes, all those in favor? All right, hands down, all those opposed? The ayes have it, just saying. Mr. McCarty, for what purpose does the member rise? I am David McCarty. I would like to make a motion to move the debate of E Pluribus Hugo and the two things linked to it to the Sunday business meeting after the Hugo ceremony where we can release what, what EPH did with this year's nomination data. Hold on, what are the two things you think? Uh, four and six and whatever the, the I think, NAMI diversity. Okay. So those three items. Until the beginning until, of the Until the meeting after site selection on Sunday. So okay. we have the Hugo ceremony Saturday night, and then we would debate these things on Sunday with more data. We have a report ready for the business meeting. All right, so they would be the first order of business on Sunday. There's a second. Question. Yes. Sorry, brief question. Very sorry. Uh, Jay, again, brief question. Is EPH being used this year? No. Oh, no. no. Oh, that's okay. Then I misunderstood because it sounded like Dave was saying. They, yes. Oh, it's getting it tested this year. Yeah. Okay. Can I get Thank you a name? Yes. What was the question? The question was Is E Pluribus Hugo being used? Was e, e Pluribus Hugo being used this year? They said no, but it is being tested. So effectively, the data is being run two ways. Uh, which is what, EPH and standard five and five? Yes. Yep. Okay, there we go. All right. So yes, y yes. Mr. Blog, for what purpose, please? Yeah, come to the, the microphone. There was a second. I have a question to David McCarty, Gary Blog. How does nominee diversity affect EPH or Ford 6? For, I thought nominee diversity regards so that, you know, say, uh, Connie Willis can't get five nominations in Best Novel, for example. And I was I'm actually, wondering. since we've, we've had a second, I, I don't think you do, but since we've had a second, Mr. McCarty, would you like to give uh, an opening speech in favor of the motion? Mine is a question. I'm not, obje I'm not objecting. I'm asking. I, I understand that, but I don't think that. Because it was postponed definitely. Okay. I don't know if this is required or even allowed. Um, <laughs> so, uh, to, to answer very, Gary's question very quickly, I don't think it is. However, we've already passed a motion to consider that after EPH, have we not? Yes. So if we move EPH to Sunday, that has to move. That wasn't a judgment call. I don't think they're related. But if they want to go after EPH and EPH is on Sunday, that will be on Sunday too. Um, but now, would you like so to So now, to, to speak for it, while almost nobody here has seen it because it only came in last night. We do have a report of how EPH worked on the Saswan data last year and both sets of the London data for 2014. We'll work to get paper summaries to folks for probably the business meeting tomorrow. However, it's on the website. Um, and on Sunday, we have reports of what EPH did with both Hugo processes this year, the 2016 and 1941. Uh, nominations and I think that EPH is a significant change to how we do things and people should look at as many tested data sets of real data as we have and the answer is we have five I think we shouldn't vote without considering the results on all five data sets all right is there a speech against the motion to postpone definitely mr. Kowalczyk we have five sets, I've got four. Long time sets, four and both people classes. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's okay. Rick Kowalczyk, uh, first a point of preliminary inquiry. If we um, defeat this now, do we um, have the option tomorrow to postpone it to Sunday? Go on. Okay, actually, let me, let me make my speech yes first, and then you can rule on what I've just 